Knowing where we stand But you and I will carry on Hey guys, Arshid here with another video where I try to share things that I know Each video I put up here comes with some effort I like the tablet, this case is set up So if you end up liking the video, smash the like button. Or you know what, just just hit the button right now. What if in case you change your mind later? Okay, hope you're done, we're good to go. So one fine day we get highly motivated to draw something. We just take out a sheet of paper, uh-uh, not just any sheet of paper, a clean, so damn white sheet of paper. And find a good looking pencil that's so sharp, that which is tempting you so badly to pick it up and draw something. You slowly lower the pencil onto the paper and then... A few moments later... Two thousand years later... One eternity later You stop You don't know what to draw, how to start, how to end Don't panic and blow up It's common, every artist go through this One simple way is to just draw what you see It can be your table, pen, pencil, eraser, sketchbook, cup, light, laptop or mobile phone Thing that you like the most you hate the most or just anything just sketch it the more you draw the more you get better at it but just keep drawing so I was sitting the same way thinking what to draw from nowhere this guy showed up hey dude hmm meet Mr. Deadpool hey dude What's going on? Uh, I don't know what to draw. Again? Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Then draw me like one of your French girls. Hmm, okay, I'll draw you. Deal. Now for you guys. To draw any random stuff, you can just directly sketch it, scribble, color the way you want or whatever. It's fine. It's just fine for your practice sake. But if you're trying to make a complete picture or poster or something which must look finished, try being a little more organized. Firstly, make a mind map to be clear on the approach. Nah, not this mind map, this one where I will make a path to walk along. Firstly, I need to make a thumbnail. It's a rough copy of your final outcome. Then I need to choose the medium. Whether I am planning to do a digital or traditional artwork. In this case, I am planning to do a digital art. So, I will go with Photoshop. Then, choose the style to present it. If this is done, jump into production. Create your thumbnails with rough concepts and placements of object and text. Here, I am planning to do a poster for Deadpool. So, I create the title or the theme of the poster and obviously some poses of the character then a random idea for the background now use this rough concept and work digitally here I'm using Photoshop and Wacom tablet to sketch the rough outlines remember to make your construction lines in a less opacity then keep refining it by adding details once you're happy Use 100% opacity and make final outlines. Here I choose to make thick and thin outlines to make some weight for the lines. Also by making hatch and cross hatch you can create depth to the character than letting it be flat. Overall I choose to make a heavy outline to make the character in pop style art.
After making the text, add some drop shadows in the effects to pop it out. Use different layers and play with blending modes for better results. As well as move on to your background in a similar vector style to create your desired final look. In a different layer below, add some base colors. Keep the base color selected and add some highlight and shadows with a hard brush to make it have a vector comic style. And finally, here's a poster for Mr. Deadpool. Hope you like it. This video was just an overview of the pipeline through which you can work in an organized way. More detailed videos are coming up soon, so don't forget to subscribe.